No one is viewing your LinkedIn profile because no one knows what you do. So here's how to fix that. Having a good LinkedIn profile is massively important to your job search. It's a place every recruiter goes to when they get to your application. It's a great place to network. And the more places online you have a professional presence, the more likely a recruiter can find you for a job. So let's get some help and talk about three ways you can use Google's Bard AI to update your LinkedIn profile. The first thing we're gonna update is our LinkedIn About section. This is a guaranteed section a recruiter will look at when they get to our profile. And so we wanted to summarize our career as a whole, touch on our experience, mention years of experience, mention top skills and notable achievements. If that sounds a lot like your professional summary, that's because it kind of is. Your resume professional summary and your LinkedIn About section do cover a lot of the same things. On LinkedIn, you do have a little bit more room compared to your resume, but if it is a nice and condensed paragraph, you could use your resume professional summary for your LinkedIn About section and vice versa. For this, we want our resume handy, we're going to use ours from our Teal Resume Builder. Then in Bard, our prompt is going to be write a LinkedIn about section based on my resume below that includes years of experience, metrics and skills and keep it less than 100 words. Then copy in your resume below the prompt and hit run. Taking a look at the results right at the top, senior marketing manager with 12 plus years of experience in the tech industry. Check it right there at the top, years of experience. Right after that, proven track record of success in and then we list some of our top skills. We also have an achievement here pulled from our resume. We have one from WeWork. We have have one from Google. I feel the need to add, these are not my achievements, by the way. Tina Miller is Teal's job searching demo candidate. She's an awesome senior veteran in the world of marketing. So these are her achievements. But these results are looking really good. We have years of experience. We have lots of metrics all over the place, which is great to see. We have skills listed right at the top and we have notable achievements. Now this right here might be a bit long for your resume, but that's okay because we're focusing on LinkedIn here today. So with these results looking fantastic, you can highlight them from Bard, copy them, go back to your LinkedIn profile file paste them in in your about section and hit save. The next section we're going to update is our work experience. You can think of this a lot like your resume work experience. We're looking for high impact achievements with metrics. So if you do have that on your resume all done and up to date, you can copy it right over. But if you are starting over or starting from blank, have the job description for the job you're applying for pulled up, then in Bard, use the prompt, write five resume achievement examples based on the following job description, then copy in the entire job description below the prompt and hit run. Now, unfortunately, with resume or LinkedIn achievements, we can't really show you examples that you can just copy and run with. We'd love to. Unfortunately, we can't. So the idea here is to look at the examples that Bard has generated and see what skills are emphasized and what's the action of the achievement. This is going to be something that the recruiter is going to be looking for that would stand out as a standout accomplishment. If we look at our third achievement here, developed and executed a marketing campaign that resulted in a 10% increase in customer engagement with plus play content. What we can take away from here is marketing campaigns as a key skill or responsibility and customer engagement is a key marker of success. So in your past job, you can think about if you've spearheaded or been a part of any marketing plans that has led to your company's brand having more reach. That's the type of achievement we're going for here. So make sure that that achievement makes it to your LinkedIn. Quick bonus tip here. If you're a Teal Plus member, you can attach a job description to your resume in your resume builder and then quickly generate achievements with the built-in AI generator. Try it out. It's super cool. The next thing we're going to update on our LinkedIn is our headline. This is probably the first thing that anyone who visits your profile is going to look at. So you can think of this as kind of your LinkedIn first impression impression. Looking at your headline, you want to be able to get an idea of the industry you're in, what you do in it. If there's a big notable achievement to your career, get that in as well. Education, if you're a recent graduate, and then some personality, if you have room. Your headline has a max of 220 characters, so as long as you're not fluffing it up, definitely use the whole thing. For the headline, have your resume handy, then in Bard, your prompt is going to be, write a LinkedIn headline based on my resume below and keep it less than 220 characters. Looking at the results right here at the top, senior marketing manager, 12 plus years of experience in tech, drives the results with data-driven campaigns. For a marketing employee like Tina Miller is, this is a great headline. Our first item is our target title. We have years of experience just to summarize how long we've been in the field. And then we have a little elevator pitch about our career. We drive results with data-driven campaigns. That shows experience, that shows our skill set. Those are all things that we wanted in our headline, so this is really good. But one of the things I really like about Bard is it gives us some more detail right below. It gives us just some general LinkedIn headline tips, our character limit here. It talks about keywords relevant to the industry. That's one thing that we say a lot here at Teal, so that's great to see it replicated elsewhere as well. And then also right here, getting specific with our experience. We also mentioned that earlier in the video. So for example, if this wasn't enough, if you wanted to add a specific achievement, you could definitely start with this and then add some more. I really like this as a starting point. So we're going to go here and copy. We're going to go back to LinkedIn. We're going to copy and paste our new LinkedIn headline and save. Once you've done these sections, just double check that your 
whole LinkedIn profile is properly filled out. For an easy checker, fly out the Teal Chrome extension while looking at your profile for the profile review tool. If anything is still showing red, click in on it, look at the recommendations it has for you, and then make those changes. After working on your resume and job applications, your LinkedIn profile is probably the last thing you're thinking about. But seriously, it is a huge asset to your job search if used properly. So spend some time here and get it as good as you absolutely can. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're not familiar with the Teal platform, check out the links below to get started. Thank you again. See you again soon.